Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, I know I've been gone a couple days. Uh, it's good to be back, guys. Uh, we're going to get into I did, never did a show on Jared Enos. Um, that spectacular spectacle he put on um, Saturday night. Um, really, really amazing stuff. So I want to get into Jared Enos. But before we do, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. comes at you twice a day, every day. Does it because every day, eight to ten minutes a day, uh, can we update on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors? Again, sorry, I've been away, I've been busy, it's been crazy, uh, guys. But please, um, let's get into today's show. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, it's near and dear to our heart. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing, and that uh, goes to uh. 100% of proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, guys, let's get to Jerry Enos. Um, the guy is ready. He's going to knock out in 109 seconds. That's a minute and 49 seconds of a really good fighter, Thomas DeLemmer. Somebody that, that gave Jamal James lots of fits, somebody that's you know been around, somebody who's got good wins. You know, DeLemmer is a, 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 a noteworthy opponent. You know, there's nothing wrong with uh, Thomas DeLemmer, um, which is what made this victory. We all p- – and DeLorme is only 31. Before we go that route that he's older than Wash, he's, he's only 31. Um, you know, he just fought Stan Yonis tough, who everyone likes. He fought, before that, he fought Jamal James tough, who everyone likes. Not that long ago, he fought Jesse Vargas to a draw. Um, we were all picking boots to win, all right? And, and probably a lot of us, if not all of us, were picking boots to win by stoppage. That being said, what he did was incredibly impressive. As a good fighter, he absolutely washed. And as he steps up in competition, he's still washing. Um, I mean, the, the future of this division, the 147-pound division has been America's division. You know, it's where America puts its best talent, had so much talent over the last 30, 40 years. And that ain't about to change. You know, we got Jeremy Enos from Philly, and we got Virgil Ortiz from, uh, from Texas. Guys, this division is on fire. Now, Jared Enos is spectacular. There's nothing not to like about him. He's quick. His reflexes are real good. His power is explosive. Uh, I mean, he's got everything you want. If he was a baseball player, right, we'd call him a five-tool player. Um, but he's a boxer, so I, I'm still going to call him a five-tool fighter. He's got everything you would want. Um, so where does he go here? It's going to be tough. He's ranked third by the IBF. Uh, Kurtatilo Abakadabrov, if I'm saying that right, which I'm sure I'm not, is ranked number one. He was Becky fighter. Um, he's ranked number one. Porter's ranked number two. Okay, Porter's going to come out of those rankings. Either Porter's going to beat Crawford, and he'll be the uh, WBO champ, so he'll be out of the IBF ratings, or he'll lose and they'll bump him down. Um, and that fights in a couple of weeks. So when they come out with their December ratings, um, Porter won't be involved in those ratings. So that moves even up to two, I would guess. And then Virgil Ortiz is four, who would move to three. Um, I, I think they should do an eliminator. Honestly, the IBF should do an eliminator. They should have Virgil Ortiz fight Enos, and then the winner fights Kurtatilo Uh um, Right? And then, you know, th- that guy becomes the mandatory, right? So you have Virg versus Jared Enos. The winner of that fights Abakadabrov. And the winner of that ultimately becomes the IBF mandatory for Errol Spence. Now, um, obviously, look, Jerry Enos is a special fighter. He's a, he already wants Spence. I don't think there's any need for him to waste any more time. I, I don't think he needs to fight any more to him. I don't think he needs to fight Jesse Vargas of the world. I don't think he needs to fight um, Jamal James or, 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 or you know any of those type of fighters. Who just took, like, he's ready. Right now, to fight Crawford, Spence, Porter, Thurman, Virgil, let's just do it. Let's just put him in the ring and see how he does. He might 
He might be all of them. He might not. But, I mean, he, he's not going to be out. Class. It's not that he's not ready. He's ready. Those guys are great, too, so I don't know who wins. But he's ready to go. Um, I mean, he's, he's, he's 24. They're already starting to compare him to Floyd. They're talking about him being a pay-per-view star. In order for him to be a pay-per-view star like Floyd, you know, look, obviously he needs to get better behind the microphone. He needs to get more comfortable as, uh, talking to give the gap and all that stuff. But the skills are there. Him, Bam, um, TV with Lopez, I mean, uh, Shakur Stevenson, these are the future greats of, of, of the sport right now. Virgil Ortiz, obviously, is that mix too. Brandon Figueroa, um, Devin Haney. Um, these are the future, this is the future of the sport. He's on that list, and, and he, you know, and he's ready now. Like, it's not like he's five years away, two years away. He's ready now. You know, I don't know who PBC, I, I don't know who he's going to fight next. Um, you know, Porter is busy. Crawford is busy. Spence, maybe they make that fight. I, I don't think they're going to make that fight right away. Um, Spence is still wanting to fight Ugas. If Spence can't fight Ugas, maybe they make the Enos fight. That's the fight Enos wants. Um, what do you guys think? You think he's ready for that? How do you think he does in that fight? I'm not sure he loses. He could definitely win that fight. Um, but you know, Spence is great too. But I'm telling you right now, Enos is not outclassed in that fight. He's not not ready. I don't know that he wins, but it's not going to be because he he took it too soon. He's ready to go. Um. The other fight, and guys, let me know what you think of this. This is the fight I thought of. Regis Progress. Regis Progress is going to 147. Um, you know, he looks he's looking for a big fight. Progray is insanely talented. I, I think he's a little small for 47. I, I've met him. He's not a huge guy. Um, I like that fight. What do you guys think of Enos and Regis Progray? I'm into that fight. Um, you know, Mikey Garcia it, it has fought himself out of the picture, so I'm not gonna mention his name. Um, but like, those are the fights I'd want to see. I'd want to see the IBF mandate him against Virgil Ortiz. And look, in all reality, I know we're not going to get the Virgil Ortiz fight. The same reason we're not going to get Shakur versus Chris Colbert. And Chris Colbert's the name of the future of boxing. Um, for the same reasons. I don't even know if they mandated if, if both teams, both promoters would take it. And the reason we're not, look, look, these are two of the best fighters in the sport. This is one of the best fights you can make. Um, and we're not going to get it for years. If ever. And you know why? Because of promotion. And and that's a shame. Because, I mean, both Virgil and Jerry Enos are so insanely talented. So insanely good. And they knock everyone out. And we're not going to get this fight because of, of politics. And that's a shame. Um, but Enos is 100% ready to go. Um, he, you know, uh, those are the fights I'd like to see. I'd like to see him fight Virgil. If the IBF could mandate that and both teams would take it. If not, which isn't going to happen. Um, Spence, you know. Um, I, I think I think you make that fight next, or um, Rich's program. Those are the names I like to see. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think of, of Jared Enos. I, I, you got to tell me Jared Enos sucks. Don't even bother leaving a comment. But you know, is he ready? Do you guys think he's ready? Could he beat Spence? How about him versus Virgil? Leave it all thoughts, comments below. Uh, please share it all forms of social media. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery uh, from Texas. Uh, it is November 4th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.